just going to do the barn tour and I don't have a sign. So just to start off, the stable name is Chestnut Ridge Riding Academy, Western only. So just here is the car. What your address? <laughs> Chestnut Ridge. And here's the trailer. I need to get a briar horse trailer. It's just a car. This can only fit tiny horses. So um, this is an overview, and that's the new barn. I will say something right there at that barn. So to start off with the pasture, this is their milking milking cow. Sorry. But this is their mother cow, Bailey, and her calf, Aunt Annabelle. And I got them during Easter, so I just wanted to put them in the pasture. Because that's when I got these two. Right here is my heavy draft horse or Gypsy Vanner Creamer. He's my stallion. He is just their Western pleasure horse. He doesn't go to shows so much because he freaks out a lot. Or he gets, he's very short-tempered. Like, he's a moody mare. Right here is Minstrel, my holiday horse. Um, I made her a thoroughbred because her coat is like a thoroughbred. But, um, she's my thoroughbred mare and she's used for barrel racing and western pleasure. Right here are Aubrey's two horses. Um, they are both Mustangs, and they're halfway broke, but halfway not, and have not recently been to any shows. So right here is, um, her stallion. His name is Justin, and his foal, Jacob, who is also a little colt Mustang. So, to get over here, and the shovel isn't in her hands, but this is Emily. She just held in the pitchfork and shovel because she's, oh, sorry, got my hand in the way. But, um, she's just mainly, like, the stable rider, then almost the main rider, and also the, um, stall keeper or cleaner. With this barn that my dad made. We're going to start off with their own retriever. His name is Raja. Their male dog. Um, he is just a guard dog and kept out here during the nights when everybody goes home. Um, so no, none of the horses are stolen or harmed overnight. Right here is an empty bucket for the manure to go in. But it's empty because Emily's about to just hit the stalls, get the two horses into the pasture, and muck, it out, muck them out. So right here is my quarter horse, paint horse mix. He is my gelding. His name is Pueblo. He's, up, he's used for roping and barrel racing. He's one of the champions here. Right here is my newest briar horse. Um, she is my Mara Gorilla paint horse and her name is Trigger. Roping and barrel racing. And they both have a bucket with feet in. Bucket of random feed that all the horses are fed with, and I had to refill it last night. But when they, when the horse moves out of the stall and it's sold or sent to another stable, that feed goes right back into that bucket whenever you wash over, so it can be reused and reused. Here is just junky area where they keep all their crap and stuff. Right here is um, random feed and stuff. Here is just their regular feed, horse feed. It says uh. Five inches per uh, bucket, but I ignore that now because I put, however, be between <laughs> mattering if it's like these size buckets, it's not going to be five inches. It's going to be like right in the middle, like with that. Or if it's those small buckets, they're barely filled to the rim, like half middle. They're like two thirds or one third of the way filled up. But then right here is a random basket with just a bucket of hay in it. It's just so the hay doesn't spill out and they're not having to clean up a bigger mess out on the courtyard. So then right here is just one of their trophies from one of their rodeos in a medical bag just with random feet in it. And this is an empty bunny coop and all there is is just a random paper clip I threw in there that I was using as a hook. But I don't know, I couldn't find the bunnies but I'll start looking for them. And here's just like a random box. That I have random stuff in, and it's all over the place. This is an empty medical box, a bag of oats, two carrots, a thermometer, and hoof cream or hoof care. 
it um, says horse care. Hmm. Hold on, I have to put this up to me. So when's per se? Oh, Spanish and English, I think. I don't know. That's a whole different language at the bottom. Okay. But that's just horse care, so that's in that bucket. It took me a while to find stuff to put in that. I was very scripted about that. For my briar horses. But... It won't fit on my little horse. saddles out of all the ones I do have like I love the detail to it the leather how a saddle for the smaller horse Bernard sits on the top of the driveway I don't take talks to that song okay but this is their male St. Bernard Bruno and he's just over here Hanging around here near the junk, like that type of stuff. Here is um, another one of my barns. And it's hard to see in here so turn to the light. So right here is um, Emily. I'm just going to start right here. Uh, she just hooked up um, a western saddle, another one of my western show saddles, up onto the stall door. And she's about to tack up Dominante, her gelding Frisian. I mean, she does take him to dressage shows. I'm just petting his nose. Or mainly, she'll just train him for western. I know he's a whole dressage horse in real life, but I do whatever with these real life horses. Okay, so right here is uh my or made her a Chantiki pony. I, I don't remember her breed at all, because I had her when I was super little. don't remember the breed at all. I can't look her up. Um, but she is my mare, Mavis. Um, she's used for raining, raining lessons. And behind all the horses is like a feeding trough with hay in it. But you can't see his because it's pushed up against the wall or hers. Right here is my Appaloosa, Chestnut Appaloosa. He's, um, a young colt. He's used for roping. He's He was used for bucking bronco stuff. But he, his name is Antonio, and he's just a cute little precious boy. He's gorgeous. I love him. He gives you a nuzzle. All right, but um, he's used for barrel racing, raining, and uh, rope. Junk barn. I know it says sunny trails. I just have this. My mom got me this barn from her hospital. Right here is Macy. She's just sort of jumping up and down. Because uh, Amelia is trying to play with her. So Amelia is a stable owner. And she owns most of the horses. Like Dominante, Antonio, Mavis, Pueblo, Trigger. Uh, but right here is just an empty feeding trough. It's just there in case so an, an extra horse shows up. And they're tied up right here. They have something to eat. But here's just where they store their barrels. Two barrels in here. Uh, two barrels in there. I just have random barrels. And behind her is just like a blanket, a winter blanket coat. <laughs> yeah, but Macy's just playing around. And if you go over here behind the barn, right here you have Aubrey's two dogs. Um, Marley, she's their Labrador Golden Retriever. And Maisie, their Border Collie. They're just playing around. They're young pups, like two years old. And right over here is, like, their old pony trailer that's never used for their show ponies. But that's this part. Here is Sparks Paddock. It, right here is a feeding trough and a wa empty water trough because I'm not going to put water in it because someone or the cat will drink it. So right here he has two bales of hay. But the reason why he doesn't have his own pony is because he has anxiety issues around other horses. Plus he's short-tempered and he... It was once a wild horse and never had good issues. But he can come out from behind a stall right through here and into his paddock and have his own time to himself. 
and he could just admire all this or something over here, but he just can't handle all the horses around him. So right here is their male German Shepherd, Max, and he's just sort of playing around with his buddy, Sparks. So these two lights right here can turn on, which I think is really neat. And just two buckets of feed just stay right there. I just keep pissing it. So Sparks is my uh, gelding Picasso. He belongs to Heather. But he's just sitting here with his nice pretty blue halter on. Just sort of staring down. He doesn't know what to do. He's sort of going out the back. Because he doesn't know if he wants to go out into the pasture. But he also gets some fresh air, too. He's got a window and his trough right there by the window. So, right here, this is what I'm going to talk about. Right Oh, sorry. So, um, we just ordered a new briar horse, and it is a messy stall. I don't know if it's a mare or a gelding stallion, slash stallion, but it is the Queen's Frisian horse. I think its name is Emma, but I may change the name. If it says the name on the box and it's Emma, I'm going to change the name no matter what. I don't like the name Emma for a horse, but I'll look up a great name for a horse like a Frisian. It's a huge draft horse, but that's going to be her or his stall right there beside Spark. Because that big horse needs a stall like that. Not like those. Or if they don't fit in here, maybe Dominante could come in here and try them out in there. If not, they have to go and stay in the paddock with that jerk. Okay, so right here is Khalid. He is um, a barb horse. I finally found out his breed. He's from North Africa, domesticated in North Africa, if I should say. But he's their stallion. He's used for roping only. Uh, but his name is Khalid, and he's not owned by Heather, but he's owned by um, Chelsea. Chelsea over there. But he's just getting a gr good groom down. Like right now, Heather is spraying him down. Heather will own the new horse I'm getting. Um, Sparks. And Minstrel. And Cradle. So, right here is just a watering hose. I would try to get it out, but I don't want to at the same time, but I did anyway. The, uh, this is just a watering hose. That's why I didn't want to get it out. It would fall. Ooh, I'm trying to get it. So right here is just like a tack rack. Uh, there's two western saddles. A black western saddle and like an American colored western saddle. And right here is just where you hook in your lead ropes when you're tacking up or washing your horse. And then there's two bridles back there. One's an English bridle, but I can't. I'm missing half my western bridles because I have so many things to bridle horses. They're just all over the place. I made it a western, and then there's a western bridle under there where I used a lead rope as a ring. But Heather is busy spraying down Khalid because he's about to get tacked up. And right here is their little tack box. It's got, like, a fur remover brush. I don't know the name of it, but I know it's just to remove the winter coat and a curry comb and just another bottle of spray. Not a whole. Oh, and um, a horse pick. Horse pick's down at the bottom. Well, here's an overview of the stable. Don't mind that chunk over there. But this is Chestnut Ridge Riding Academy, and I will update as soon as the new Briar Horse gets here. So you all can see, I will do an unboxing video. Um, and TikTok, probably. I'll do it on YouTube and then post it on to TikTok. Just an unboxing video of the barn horse, but I will update as soon as the barn horse gets here. So you all can know the gender, know the name, and know if it's going, which barn it's going into. And you are free to uh, draw whatever with the barn or draw something about me. I'm, take, I'm going to take it. But as soon as it gets here, I will update as soon as possible. <sighs> if you have the horse, tell me so I know. And then I'll come up with a name. So, Gabby wishes you good night. I'm hoping it may get here tomorrow or Monday. Plus, I am out for two weeks because of coronavirus, so I will be posting more often. But anyways, this is the overview. Update as soon as the horse gets here. Post more often. 
and bye. And I hope you have a good time. Be very safe and wash your hands. Stay healthy and all that. Don't get sick. And just be careful.